ladies and gentlemen of the class of 99, wear sunscreen. If I could offer you only one tip for the future, sunscreen would be it. The long-term benefits of sunscreen have been proved by scientists, whereas the rest of my advice has no basis more reliable than my own meandering experience. I will dispense this advice now. Enjoy the power and beauty of your youth. Oh, never mind. You will not understand the power and beauty of your youth until they fade it. But trust me, in 20 years, you'll look back at photos of yourself and recall in a way you can't grasp now how much possibility lay before you and how fabulous you really looked. You are not as fat as you imagine. Don't worry about the future. Or worry, but know that worry... Hey, how you guys? Hey, I'm Deputy Owens, Resource Deputy here at Maple Park, and I'm here with three students that applied for the Junior Police Program that we will be launching this summer. Uh, will we get food? Food. Oh, yeah, you're a big growing kid. So, yeah, food will be provided for you guys. So, again, you will have your breakfast and lunch, and then we will also have snacks for you as well. Um, my question is, what kind of Activity. So we'll go ahead and just talk about this. Uh, we'll work on vehicle stops. So we will teach you first simple things like military time or just etiquette on dealing with dispatch or communicating with dispatch over the radio. So you'll learn all those basic fundamentals. So whenever you do a car stop, you will know the proper procedure on what you need to do when you're approaching the vehicle and what are the things that we look for whenever we do one. So that's just one example of many different things that we'll kind of teach you guys in the process, okay? To give you a better understanding how law enforcement works. Another question is, will we get like a police shirt or a badge? Like a uniform. Police? Yeah, a uniform. You want to know if we give, we'll give you a uniform. Yes, there will be a uniform. So, but with that uniform, there's a oath that you guys have to pledge to. So again, you have to read this oath and swear that you will follow through with this creed that for the remainder of that school year, that you will uphold your part. And then at that, at the end, we'll give you your shirt that has a patch on it with a hat and also a mask. So, yeah, you don't have to worry about anything. Actually, how do you apply for this? How do you apply? You can respond to, you can come to my office where I have applications there. School counselors have applications and also the main office. When you go there, just get that. Again, remember on the application, there is two uh, accommodations or recommendations on the back. So that means you have to uh, get two teachers that can sign the back of that application. And then also there's a little narrative spot that you have to fill out telling me or whoever reviews the applications why you are important enough to be in this program. Again, there's only 30 spots. So we're looking for the best of Maple Park and Eastgate students that will be here for next school year. Will we have some like, like the football we did fitness and stuff? Oh yeah. So regarding class time, so will we be stuck sitting in the classroom looking at um, screen all day? No, no. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the classroom, we're gonna tell you an issue. So we're gonna say, we're gonna work on hand cupping. We're gonna show you, demonstrate it, and we're gonna go outside get some fresh air and work on techniques. So most of our class time will be outside. We're gonna be an active academy. Uh, how can this actually help us uh, get better in our future for law enforcement? Okay, so you wanna know how this program can help you moving forward with the law enforcement. Yeah. So uh, when you leave here, Tonka has a program called uh, Law Enforcement Career Path. Now in that program, they will go over the same things that we go over here, but more in depth. All right, so um, you will do more of interest type things and dig a little bit further into it. So, and also they have a, I believe a scholarship or something that's attached to that program that they help you at the next level. So, so again, join us here at Maple Park for the Junior Police Academy. That's gonna be taking place right here, August 2nd through the 6th. Thank you for your time.
as effective as trying to solve an algebra equation by chewing bubblegum. The real troubles in your life are apt to be things that never crossed your worried mind, the kind that blindsides you at 4 p.m. on some idle Tuesday. Do one thing every day that scares you. Sing. Don't be reckless with other people's hearts. Don't put up with people who are reckless with yours. Floss. Don't waste your time on jealousy. Sometimes you're ahead. Sometimes you're behind. The race is long. And in the end, it's only with yourself. Remember compliments you receive. Forget the insults. If you succeed in doing this, tell me how. Keep your old love letters. Throw away your old bank statements. Stretch. Don't feel guilty if you don't know what you want to do with your life. The most interesting people I know didn't know at 22 what they wanted to do with their lives. Some of the most interesting 40-year-olds I know still don't. Get plenty of calcium. Be kind to your needs. You'll miss them when they're gone. Maybe you'll marry. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll have children. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll divorce at 40. Maybe you'll dance the funky chicken on your 75th wedding anniversary. Whatever you do, don't congratulate yourself too much. Or berate yourself either. Your choices are half chance. So are everybody else's. Enjoy your body. Use it every way you can. Don't be afraid of it or what other people think of it. It's the greatest instrument you'll ever own. Dance. Even if you have nowhere to do it but in your own living room. Read the directions, even if you don't follow them. Do not read beauty magazines. They will only make you feel ugly. Get to know your parents. You never know when they'll be gone for good. Be nice to your siblings. Air your best link to your past and the people most likely to stick with you in the future. Understand that friends come and go, but with a precious few, you should hold on. Work hard to bridge the gaps in geography and lifestyle, because the older you get, the more you need the people you knew when you were young. Live in New York City once, but leave before it makes you hard. Live in Northern California once, but leave before it makes you soft. Travel. Accept certain inalienable truths. Prices will rise. Politicians will philander. You too will get old. And when you do, you'll fantasize that when you were young, prices were reasonable, politicians were noble, and children respected their elders. Respect your elders. Don't expect anyone else to support you. Maybe you have a trust fund. Maybe you'll have a wealthy spouse. You never know when either one might run out. Don't mess too much with your hair, or by the time you're 40, it will look 85. Be careful whose advice you buy, but be patient with those who supply it. Advice is a form of nostalgia. Dispensing it is a way of fishing the past from the disposal, wiping it off, painting over the ugly parts, and recycling it for more than it's worth. But trust me, on the sunscreen. <laughs>